Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mike. I'm a wedding photographer and videographer here in New York. And this video is a full wedding photography behind the scenes. It's my second behind the scenes video and I was very, very surprised with how my first video turned out. Thank you so much for all of you who watched um, and commented. I read all the comments. I did my best to answer all of your comments. A lot of you have asked what lens I use and also my reception lighting settings. I tried my best to answer all of that in this video. But if you haven't got a chance to watch the first behind the scenes video, you can click right over here and it'll take you to that video. All right, without further ado, here's how I shoot a full wedding day. So I always start the day with exterior photos of wherever the bride and groom are getting ready. In this case, the bride and groom were both getting ready at the same location which made it super easy. And so my second shooter and I got to start together at the same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually when I arrive, the bride and the bridesmaids are still getting ready, getting their hair and makeup done. And so after I introduce myself, I like to take photos of the bridal details, such as the wedding dress, rings, uh, the shoes, invitation, um, anything that the bride will be wearing. And so that's what I do here. Do you want to hang out by these? I think it's lighter. Okay. Or you want to... Because the dress kind of folds weird. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty light. Yeah, so you have some time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I should have brought clamps. I've seen photographers like clamp it so that it looks slimmer. Oh wow, that's such a great idea. Yeah. Oh wow, that's awesome. Oh wow, that's yeah. much better. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is it smaller <laughs> than my phone? Uh, no. I've seen photographers use uh, the lens cap. Oh, I don't have my lens cap. <laughs> Do you have one? Yeah, I have one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that works. It's oh, not bad. Oh, thank you. Okay, and now that the bridal details are done, we go into makeup touch. Uh, let's get a little bit closer actually. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. And everyone's looking at Mina while she's Hi. popping the bottle. Hi. 
Perfect. Oh All right, let's pour, let's pour. That was so loud. That's so scary. Oh my god. The anxiety. All right, beautiful. Let's lower it and extend your arms out more. Yeah, perfect. Big smiles looking right here. Beautiful. And let's look, look at each other. Lots of laughing. <laughs> All right, and let's just do it like a cheers. Yeah! Perfect. Okay, uh, let's just do one quick group shot after you take a sip. Everyone looks good? Okay, beautiful. Big smiles looking right here. One, two, three. All right, and everyone's gonna look at each other and laugh with each other. <laughs> wow, so good. Did you practice this? <laughs> we use this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, we have just Mina turn around and then look back at me. All right, perfect, beautiful. Okay, big smiles. And let's all blow Mina a kiss. <laughs> beautiful. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. You should get. Everyone should get dressed. And look at each other. Can you get her? Yep. Thanks, Mike. There we go. Yep. Looking at each other. I just need like one side, and then you can put them. So I'm gonna have you look that way. Perfect. A little bit more. Uh, a little bit more towards me. No, no, I mean like just your face. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. And I want you to put it on. Can you cup your wrist as you're doing it? Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. Chin down. I can't find my hair. Okay. Turn your face towards me. Just your face. Yeah. Okay. Good. And you don't have to look at me here. Yeah. Perfect. Big smile. There we go. Beautiful. Can I? Sh can you show me the ear? I know it's. You did. Did you put it in? Okay. Oh, oh. So I want you to just kind of like show it off. Uh, don't cover it. Yeah. Perfect. And just with your other hand too. Just lightly pinch your ear. Perfect. Just like that. Yeah. And big smile. Good. Turn your face towards me a little bit. Yeah. There you go. And you don't have to look at me. Just look straight. Yeah. Big smile. Beautiful. One more, just oh, sorry. Okay, good. We're gonna do the family picture after the first look. Yeah. First look shouldn't take too long. No. Okay, so now that we're finished with the getting ready, it's time for the first look. First look is usually one of my favorite times. Um, it's very self explanatory, and I just make sure to give clear directions, and I always make sure to capture both reactions. And here's how that went. Right here, okay. I'm gonna have her come and tap you on your left shoulder. And hold on, I'm just gonna flatten out here. Okay. And she's gonna come and tap your left shoulder and try not to worry about anything else around you except her. <laughs> and just have your moment with each other, ignore us. Yeah, and then uh, be ready. You have nothing in your pocket. I okay. do. Take it all out because it's going to show. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you take one step back? Okay, good. After the first look, we're all heading over to the venue. As soon as I get to the venue, I like to take 
exterior photos once again just to include it as part of the gallery and fit into the storyline. So this was my first time at the venue and usually if it's the first time that I'm shooting at a venue, I like to plan a little bit of extra time just so that I can arrive and take a look at the space and location scout for some areas where we can shoot. And so here I'm just going to fast forward everything because it's just me taking a look at the space and it's really nothing. Oh my goodness. Raccoon eyes? Hmm. Can't be. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I see it too. Damn it. Oh my gosh. Alright, now as soon as I stepped outside to the ceremony space, I noticed one very big problem. It was around afternoon time. It was around noon and the sun was very high up in the sky and usually when that happens, the sun casts a shadow usually under your eye and it gives you that raccoon eyes look and so that was very concerning for me and you'll see later on in the ceremony that the weather was actually very challenging in terms of lighting conditions because at one second it'll be sunny and then the next a cloud will pass by and it'll just turn dark all of a sudden and so um, this was actually a really challenging wedding and as soon as the bridal party arrived, we all went out to the golf course and started to take bridal party group photos. Yes, just button the top, the top one only. And, uh, okay, bridesmaids, let's get closer. And we're gonna turn our bodies slightly towards Mina. Mina, Daniel, can you turn to towards each other? Yeah, perfect. No, no, not too much, not too much. <laughs> okay, good. And uh, gentlemen, if you could put all your hands in your pockets, fully in your pockets, perfect. <laughs> okay, good. And yeah, you could lower your bouquets. Yes, near your like your belly button area. Good. Okay. Beautiful. Ninja, you could put it down more. And Hannah, a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Good. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Big smiles. One, two, three. Uh, bigger smiles. One, two, three. There it is. Beautiful. Good. Okay. Um. It's still like a fun cheering, cheering shot. Um, how about this? Let's have everyone cheer. The longer you hold your cheer, the longer Mina and Daniel have to hold a kiss. Okay? Does that make sense? So the longer you cheer, the longer they have to hold the kiss. Okay. All right, and go for it, cheer. Perfect. All right, let's go. Uh, gentlemen, you could unbutton your jacket. So we're all going to walk together towards us and uh, feel free to talk to each other. Lots of laughing. Take your time walking. Try not to go in front of Mina and Daniel. Actually, can you just take one step forward, Mina and Daniel? <laughs> yeah, and so we're all going to just talk to each other and let's go for it. Daniel, you got this, right? Run, run, go for it. We got this. Uh, Mina and Daniel ride over here and then we're gonna line up this way but let's do alternating groomsmen and bridesmaids so we'll have two bridesmaids on this side and then one groomsman on this side left I'll show you in a second beautiful all right big smiles one two three perfect bigger smile one two three all right and let's just pretend we're doing like a photo booth so we're gonna take four photos different pose each time does that make sense okay we'll do one regular photo ready one two three one silly photo one two three and one cool photo one two three last photo one two three i love that okay good okay let's go a little closer we'll do the bouquets in a little bit but let's just do straight to your belly buttons and try not to curve out just one one straight line yeah. okay good perfect um let's angle in towards mina perfect and mina can you turn to your that, that side yeah slightly yeah okay good perfect 
Okay, and really kick those knees in and rest your weight on your back leg. Yep. All right, beautiful. All right, big smiles. One, two, three. Okay, one more. One, two, three. One more. Okay, big smiles. One, two, three. And let's all look at each other and laugh. Oh, let's do a bigger, a better laugh than that. Ready to go? Okay, beautiful. Okay, so try to go right above your head, okay? The, the bouquet. Yes. So that I can see your faces as the bouquet's in the air. Right yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Like, like look at yeah, him. yeah, yeah. Oh, that was perfect. Yep, exactly like that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> on three, one, two, three. That was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, last photo. Uh, let's do back to back. So Hannah and Minji, no, and then Sarah and oh, Esther. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just like that. Okay, and a little bit closer in. Yeah, perfect. Lower the bouquets, perfect. And kick in those knees. So this will be your right knee, left knee. Yep, good, beautiful. All right, big smiles looking right here. Okay, one more. Big smiles, one, two, three. Gorgeous, okay. All right, we're just gonna do individual photos with Mina and then we'll be done. Let's all unbutton Jack. You, you're all wearing vests, right? Yeah. Perfect, okay. All right, uh, so let's just uh, spread out a little bit. Perfect, right there. And uh, take your jacket and then put your hands in your pockets. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Okay. And open your body towards me. Yep, perfect. Good. Okay, big smiles. Okay, one more. So we're all walking together nice and slow, talking to each other. Actually, Daniel, keep it buttoned and then unbutton it as you're walking. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yep, okay, cool. Yeah, we're gonna start walking together. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> also, I love. That. Actually, can you all the groomsmen take off, except Daniel take off your jackets and then throw it over your shoulder. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Okay, uh, let's start back a little bit more. Okay, so think like cool, like swag. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, and really cool walk. All right, and let's go for it. Yep. You don't have to look at me. Perfect. All right, and let's put our jackets back on and. Are you okay getting carried? If they can carry uh, me. You know, we're not as strong as you can. <laughs> yeah, if they but can. We will give it a shot. So you'll grab the legs, you'll grab like the butt area, and you'll grab his like yeah. top half. Go. Yep. Alright, so we'll just change right. hands. Okay. Okay, lean right. back and then I'm gonna drop my hand. Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three. There we go, perfect. Good. Alright, good. Big smiles, big smiles. One, two, three, like this. Good. I love that. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> All right. After the bridal party photos were finished, we now head over to bride and groom portraits. Away from me. <laughs> and Mina, turn around. Daniel, look at Mina. Keep walking. Big smile. You don't have to walk too fast. <laughs> look at each other. Okay, stop right there and Daniel lean in for a kiss on her cheek lightly. Perfect. And Mina turn around to look at me and stay right there. Relax your shoulders. And Daniel from right there, you could step forward and give her a kiss on the temple. Light kiss. On the temple? Yep. Big smile Mina, beautiful. Yeah, keep keep going. Good. And Mina, close your eyes, big smile. Okay, perfect, beautiful. Okay, Mina, look at me one more time. Daniel, keep looking at Mina. Yep. Give her a kiss on the temple. Yep. Okay, one more. Okay, good. Can we have Daniel on this side? And I want you to lead her. Alright. Okay, and go for it. Like just lead it like 
Yep, and look back at her though. Good. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, love it. Can we just quickly do one by the flowers? Yeah. And just really like lean onto his body, you know? Yeah, and put your hand higher and more to his the arm, his arm. More to your yeah, right. Okay, good. Right there. Beautiful. at each other uh, yeah get a little bit closer Beautiful. Alright, now that everything was done, it's now time to take ceremony details and I was super glad to have some time to take a wide shot of the whole ceremony space without any guests in the pictures. Usually for ceremony details, I like to take photos of the flowers, any decorations, and uh, this was actually a very pretty ceremony space, and so um, I really enjoyed taking photos here. Alright, now it's time for the ceremony and I'm not going to show the full ceremony but I did want to point out how challenging it was as I mentioned before. As you can see the clouds were scattered and there were times where I was shoot and had my settings locked in but a cloud would pass by and I would have to quickly change the settings on the spot during the actual ceremony and you know it's just things like these where you just have to adapt to your surroundings to the environment and that's just something that we as wedding professionals just need to work with and hopefully be able to get the job done for the ceremony I always make sure to take photos of everyone walking down the aisle obviously this is very very important and I'm just gonna fast forward everything I don't want to show the entire wedding it's very long Essentially what I do is I'm on a longer focal length on one camera and a wider focal length on the other camera and I make sure to take one, at least one tight photo and one wide photo. Notice how the cloud just came all of a sudden? I hate this. <laughs> and I just had to just quickly change the shutter speed. stayed throughout the entire time the bride walked down the aisle and so it was even lighting the entire time she walked so.
please remain standing. And I would like to welcome everybody. Uh, today we are here. And for every ceremony, I always like to make sure to take photos of the parents and the bridal party, anyone that's just standing up there with the bride and groom. And I usually like to do this right at the beginning after the entrances. And then for the rest of the ceremony, I just pretty much go around uh, with a photojournalistic approach, just capturing all the moments as they're happening. All right, and it's time for the vows. And I like to have my second shooter on the opposite side of where I am, just so that we can capture both reactions. After Daniel, the vows, you may place the ring it was time on Nina's for the finger. rings. And this wedding, I decided to just stand in the middle of the aisle and just to get tight shots and capture both reactions. And finally, we get to the first kiss, which is probably one of the most important photos of the ceremony. And I just made sure to have my second shooter with me in the middle of the aisle, just so that we can have many different focal lines. All right, ceremony is done and the guests are at cocktail hour. I just finished taking family formals and it was now time to set up for the reception. Now, because the reception was indoors, I definitely had to use flash and I use all Godox flashes. For off camera flash, I use the Godox AD200 Pros. And for on-camera flash, I use either the Godox V1 or the Godox V863. And I'm planning to make a separate video, a shorter video just to go over certain parts of the day. And one of them, I plan to make a video of reception lighting. And so be on the lookout for that. But for now, please enjoy how I typically set up for reception lighting. <coughs> Alright, and here I'm taking a test shot and I actually thought it was a little too warm and so I am changing the Kelvin. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Looks nice. After I take a full photo of the reception table, I actually go in closer to take more photos of the details and the decorations, the menu and things like that. Oh, there's no menu. <laughs> nice. All right, and now it was time to shoot the sweetheart table. And here are my recommendations to shooting the sweetheart table. I always recommend using two flashes, one as a main key light and one backlight. When you place your main key light, don't place it in the center of the sweetheart table and shooting it straight head on. That will create a very flat image. And then for your backlight, make sure it's not once again, it's not overpowering and just 
set it at a low power, it'll give the image a little bit more pop. And after I take a full photo of the table, I go in closer for the details. Yeah, bubble. Hmm? Mm, that's good, yeah. Was this a ring shot? <laughs> <laughs> it's like this. Well, it's like a cool backlight. Oh, cool. Oops. Mmm. I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's make some noise for your bride and groom! Alright, and now we're finally into the reception. Usually for receptions, you have the entrances, but for this wedding, the bride and groom decided not to have entrances so everyone was actually already seated and they just went straight into the first dance. Alright, and after the first dance, they served the first course and we went into speeches. For the speeches, usually I like to have my second shooter cover the guests and their reactions while I cover the speakers and the bride and groom. So all that you will see is just the photos that I would normally take. Just make sure for the, for the speeches, it's really not that much to do, just make sure to capture as many reactions as you can. Alright, so once again, James and Grace, can you guys please make your way out to the dance floor. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for the parents as they share a dance with their children on this special day. Alright, and after the speeches, they went straight into parent dances. And very similar to the first dance, I make sure to just capture everything that happens and also the reactions of people. If you noticed, um, I'm pretty much just standing in one area and shooting in one specific direction. I purposely did this because I'm actually near the windows and I didn't want to shoot against the light that was coming in through the windows. Also, I thought it looked better to shoot where the guests were sitting and it just had more depth and also it looked prettier with all the lights on the ceiling and stuff. All right, and we're gonna do one last walk. I think we're good, yeah. So you're gonna walk from there all the way to here. All right, and at some point during the reception, I decided to take the couple out for some sunset photos. And it was really nice because there were no golfers and it was very, very free from people and it just created a wonderful opportunity to take some beautiful stunning portraits get each other okay good and let's come together and we're walking looking at each other Go for a kiss. Beautiful. Perfect. Next formality for the reception is cake cutting. Cake cutting is very simple. I just stand in one spot and make sure to get one nice photo of the couple looking straight at the camera. And then I make sure to capture them cutting the cake and then feeding each other obviously and then after that seal it with the kiss and finally
finally we get to the dancing part of the reception this is where everyone is just loose and having a good time i love taking dancing photos in the reception it helps me to be free and be creative i always make sure to use a wide angle lens i think i was on the 20 millimeter 1.8 and I love this lens for reception. I only use it for the reception. It just allows me to capture as much, um, as, as many people as possible for the reception. It also helps me to get some unique angles and I like to kind of get close to the action and it's just a fun lens to use. Right. If you made it this far in one sitting, thank you so much. You are a trooper. So that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, if you learned something new, please give it a like, hit that thumbs up button, and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm planning to make a lot more wedding behind the scenes content. I also will make shorter content about some of the parts of the wedding day, such as getting ready, ceremony and especially the reception. I know a lot of you have asked questions about the reception and so be on the lookout for that. Alright, thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>